This is Jacob from Vivi Blogs. I'm here with Eurovision legend Benedicta Adrian. Yeah. <laughs> and you're not alone this time. Who are you? I'm Anders Odden. And how how did you meet? How did you decide to compete together in MGP? Oh, uh, that decision was taken quite late in the process. First thing was that we actually, we bonded in a way, the way we talked about mu music, the way we think about life and what it means to be alive and to be a real creative person, then we re we're really on the same length wave. And so we decided to just go with the flow, see what happens, should we try and be creative together? And then it, it turned out, just electric it was just so well the first thing you said was maybe we should try and just sit down and make music for nobody nobody has to like it we just see what where it takes us only one. when when was this this is uh, february 2023 so it's a brand new project in that way you never met it before no, no. So it's just like an idea. yeah i just thought you seemed very Polite and nice and interesting. It was an interesting conversation. That is true. Uh, and uh, so that's when we started. And then when we had an album, and when we started to think about, because you told me we're never going to play live. Oh, oh yeah, we're just going to be nerds sitting in a corner, never having to do the makeup, uh -huh. never having to dress up or anything. Great. So that was the ambience that we created in. And then obviously afterwards, it, it has to come out. It has to be. And our producer also said, if you don't make anything big with this music, I'm going to quit the music business because it's not worthwhile. <laughs> and it's been 40 years since you represented Norway in uh, Luxembourg. Uh, what is the biggest difference between the Benedicte in 1984 and Benedicte in 2024? I don't think there's a big difference. I don't think so, but I think that the Eurovision has changed and the way you think about it and it's so much more professional now and we don't have to play with a big orchestra. You missed that. Except that our song would yeah. maybe have been really good with an orchestra. Yeah. Uh, I thought I, we would have an orchestra, so I was kind of disappointed. Too no, late. I'm, I'm too just joking. Late. Um, yeah. And of course, in 1984, Italy had an amazing song. It's my favorite Eurovision song of all times. And I heard it's also your favorite Eurovision yeah. song of all time. Can you sing a little bit for us? Eh, per un istante ritorna la voglia di vivere una velocità. Something like that. Perfect. We wish you all the best in the semi final and we hope to see you back again in Trondheim. Well, hope to see you. We hope, hope. Thank you.